This is Kim Tick. I just got off the phone with uh, with Nymphadorable, who is my girlfriend. Um, she's part of World's Edge. She is half of the female component to our society thing. Seriously, I spent from, okay, last night about 10 o'clock, I started looking up ferret stuff because Nymph told me about this, like, ferret that was up for adoption in her hometown area and it was really really cheap so I'm like oh my god we're gonna have a ferret like three days from now holy crap um, I'm gonna have to ferret proof the apartment in like tonight so I got on about 10 o'clock and then I read ferret stuff from like 10 o'clock until like 4 this morning so yeah uh, sometime in the next two or three weeks here there's gonna be a ferret on camera with me haha <laughs> so yeah go worse to League of Legends. My thing is Skyrim right now. Really excited about the, the, the League update that came up this morning. Um, Varus is out now. A little, little disappointed that uh, Athene's Unholy Grail isn't out yet. And the crazy thing is, I looked at the stats for like the public beta thing. The 12% mana that you get back from it is not a unique passive, so you stack it like twice even, and you get a quarter of your mana back for a kill. Like, that's ridiculous. A kill or an assist. Like, there's no difference. If you kill somebody, you get 12%. If you assist with somebody, you get 12%. You get into a team fight, you can easily get your entire mana bar back. I feel like what's going to happen to it is it's going to end up being like how they deal with their heroes, where they release it, it's really way overpowered, and then they nerf the crap out of it over the next three or four weeks. We're really excited about Guild Wars 2 coming out. We're going to be planning on doing... PvE guides, we're going to do PvP guides, like how it works and such, not how to be number one yet, because honestly, we're just starting out yet, and it's a brand new game. Nobody knows how to be number one yet, obviously, besides beat the crap out of the other people. Ah. We're going to go in-depth on each one of the different professions, and we're going to, we want to do crafting videos, and we want to do uh, gameplay videos, and we want to do some, some a little bit of a spotlight on the story, too. And then sometime soon here, we're going to get a handycam, so we can... Well, get ourselves out of the living room a little bit and show you guys a little bit more of how our lives are. We have a we have a gameplay video up. We have a thank you video up on Darren McIntyre, and uh, we're we're like we're going to get another montage video up here sometime soon to show off some of Geeky's gameplay, and we want to get another one, another montage up for Souls play, not Soul play, but for soul playing games, because most of the footage that you saw in that first montage video was just me playing a game. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two or three more montages where it's just soul, and then we're going to have another one where it's just geeky, and then it's going to have another where we're going to have another one where it's all three of us. And then I'm supposed to cover a few other things. Uh, geeky also plays LOL, uh, not LOL, but WoW, uh, World of Warcraft. He also plays Terra. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of disappointment involved in Terra. It's kind of like a clear blue sky on a cold day. Really pretty to look at, but sucks to be out in it. I mean, I'm Kim Tick. Thank you very much for watching. Make Kim. sure to subscribe to World's Edge Gaming and Dare McIntyre. Thank you.